and welcome back. Today I am going to try another technique from ResinCourses.com. It is called the Floral Fusion. I took the course and it's a fairly very simple technique, much easier than the fairy, dragonflower, etc. But Micah, the owner of ResinCourses.com, uses different products than us. So her resin inks are different, her white is different, and her resin is different. So I am going to experiment and see if I can make what I have work and what has worked in the past for some of her, some of her other techniques. So I have mixed up some uh, Art Pro, which is from ResinPro.com. I have mixed up three colors, a phalo turquoise, quinacridone crimson, and a primary yellow, all from Holbein acrylic ink. I have mixed up cast and craft in my white. So what's really simple is, this technique is simple in the sense that you first, oh, I'm using this mold that I actually got from resincourses.com when I met her in person um, in Slovakia a couple months ago. So have, that's another story. So on the three colors, you take half of each color. So I'll do the, fir the first one is blue. Then I'm going to put in half of the red. Half of the yellow. And I'm hoping very much that I have enough resin for this deep mold. Doesn't quite look like it, but oh well. So then the rest of the blue. And I'm going to scrape up all that I can of the blue that I mixed. All the red that I mixed, it all goes in the center. And then all of her yellow. Well, of the yellow, sorry, not her yellow. Maybe I have, maybe I did make enough, I'm not sure. We'll, we shall see. All right, I am going to torch real quick. I have so much, so many bubbles. I know, I know, I need to get a vacuum chamber. I just can't afford it right now. Okay, so then you put the white right in the center. This reminds me of the Larimar technique. The Larimar technique, um, you do this. You, you mix a bunch of resin with different colors and then you, but on the Larimar, you start with the white. In this one, the floral fusion, you, you, you end with the white and then a clear push at the end. <laughs> Oopsie, boopsie, get rid of that. Okay, and then I'm going to torch again. And that's like my dot that you do in the fairy technique. Okay, then you take clear, and I put in dioxide violet 
in here um, for my push. It's called a push, and it's very little that you um, that you put in. I'm mixing it up some more. And then you just pour it in the center and let it go out. So this mold holds quite a bit more, so I could have put more, could have mixed more resin. But I think um, this was an experiment anyway, or a trial, so we shall see. I don't know how to do time lapses, so I'm not going to do one. Oh, actually, it kind of, well, there's a little bit more room here. I probably could have put in at least maybe 10 or 15 more grams of, um, of resin. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just torch this a little bit, and I'm going to wait um, to see if it closes up more before I put in my glitter, which is a gold silver mix of crushed glass. So I'm going to put you on a brief pause and um, we'll see. See you shortly. Okay, well that, wow, that stuff happened really fast. That's really cool. So let's see what happens um, when I drop in, oops, I'm going to use a different uh, spoon. When I drop in some of that glitter, and I'm thinking if it doesn't close up, or if I don't like how it looks, I might try Miss Julie Cutts' trick of where you use a syringe in the center. But even if I did a flashlight, I can't see what's happening down there. So, so I'm going to gently just... Place some of this crushed glass. I'm going to force it down soon, but let me try this first. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, so I will see you for uh, the demolding or unmolding, and we'll see what we get, whether it's close to her floral fusion or not, or what it created instead. So just a little torch again. And see you soon. Okay, it's unmolding time. I have a feeling I should have syringed in the center but we shall see if it's even close oh boy didn't even have my coffee I was too excited okay I can see that there's a little white space in there alrighty Oh, that's kind of cool. So you know what? I am going to syringe. The idea from Julie from pouring your heart out on syringing so that you don't have that center. But it's interesting, different effect. And um, can't wait to try with different colors. Thank you so much for watching the Floral Fusion.